Alright, left over, left off. Okay, okay. Alright. I'm going to visit the Tommy's home. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda's student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I hmm. haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Gee, that took a while talking. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Uh, uh. <laughs> if you're interested, feel free to take a look around a at the rest of my inventory. Beast toy box. Oh. A potting table with a medium pot with spellcraft. Oh, that might be interesting to get. A pot table with Three small pots. Spellcraft. Oh, spellcraft. Okay. I'll visit the. Oh, which was that place? Ah, oh, yeah. Print you need. <coughs> Revelio. I tried to try to I'll be right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, mm. Hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, I... about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, <coughs> yes, yes. Hmm, powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh dear. 
Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. Mm. No, not you. Uh, uh, mm. Perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Interesting. Oh, 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 oh goodness. Oh, looks like it's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes, I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Oh. Hmm. Okay, what can I do to you? Curious indeed. No. Oh, I can't like that. How intriguing. Yeah, that kind of looks cool, actually. I would like Curious it in indeed. this color. <coughs> How intriguing. I want wood type. Oh, red. Oh, yeah, it can be red. Silver line, Curious yeah. Indeed. Four, fourteen. Damn. How intriguing. I still want this. Um. Ooh. Dragonheart summons the co um, core of the node of powerful magic. The hair of the unicorn serves as the core of the uh, node for permanent magic. Uh, it's of the a great range of magic. Powerful magic. Oh, I want powerful. A dragon heart string wand is most powerful and learns quickly. <coughs> <coughs> yes. What do you think? <laughs> Extraordinary. <laughs> the power. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. <coughs> yes. I have my new wand. It's pretty. Revelio. Ooh, that's cool. Looks cool. Look at that. So I can do it like that, I just like... <coughs> I just press it like, um... Well, visit the magic knee keep. Where is the knee keep? 
the magic knee keys. Oh, it's just there. Okay. Um, before I want to do anything. Whoa! Did I say like 30, 55 file guys I have to find? Oh my god. That is a lot of fucking po oh fuck just looked at that. Rebellion. Wait, I heard something this way. I can hear it. But I'm not worried. <laughs> Hmm. I, I feel like it's something on the other side, they're not too picky. Sir, I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Ah, oh, the Dittany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. Rebellion. <coughs> All right. Yeah.
I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. What is that? Oh, yeah. Perishly attacks. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. All right. Repair. <laughs> I'll go and see what he wants. Let's 
missing and to worry about? Repair. So weird to repair. Like, how does it repair? Mr. Hill was just singing <laughs> your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, clothier extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hi, Mr. Hill. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Press the crook, bro. Where the fuck? No, I'm pressing X. Why is this game like that? What the fuck? Oh, is it in here? Ah. Oh, hello. Ooh. Pre. Okay, eel. Uh, what does this look like? Can't see it. <coughs> That's kind of cool, right? Yo! Buy that. Oh, but then in this one, you look more sicker. Oh, why did I go for that? Sorry, I didn't go for that one. I don't know why. I'll go sell. I'll sell that back because I don't really need it. <coughs> How cool is that? Can I turn it on? Oh, it's a green scarf! That would look cool on me though. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I sell even more. Yeah. <coughs> right, what's this? Oh.
nothing to quit. A few minutes, but home is simply by one total normal plan. That's kind of cool. Um, I don't really wear glasses as much for character. the items, should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. <coughs> hey, you can take my stuff. Oh, my cool shit. Oh, my cool shit. Yeah. I look like a Assuming it isn't utter cool bedroom in there, you might even had a better Sabrina, the owner. Uh, She's a good one to know. You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <sighs> Let's go. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say... Trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> What time, Lane? Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, the ovenous. The three broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. 
And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. Actually...